What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, I know. Now, as a precursor to this entire video, don't get excited, I don't know how often I'm gonna post, I just missed you guys so much that I had to come back on and film a video because I also wanted to share with you guys this bit of information over here as well. But, anyway, don't get sidetracked, Jessica. My production quality of this video is lacking, at least by my standards, because I have a media team for junior hires where I teach them how to do film and editing and lights and we make movies and stuff, and all of my equipment is not here, including my microphone. So I am really in all natural lighting today. I am sitting close to a window, so this is all natural, baby ish. So now I'm going to shut up and get right into the stuff you actually clicked on this video for. Let's go. All right, first things first. When I stopped doing YouTube for a while, I wanted to go back to makeup that I actually love. At the time I quit, I was testing so many products and getting so much new stuff in that I just wasn't going back to my old standbys, the old things I used to love. So I kind of went back and went through things that I used to really like and decided what I actually like instead of just new products. However, there are new products in this video too because I still do love new products. So I got pretty serious about my skincare. Okay, so I guess you could say things are getting pretty serious. And I really sort of delved into trying to fix my skin a little bit more. So I wanted to mention three skincare products that really I have been using constantly non-stop big game changers for me. One of those is this mask. Now I have used this many, 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 many times over the last few years. I love this mask so much, but I had forgotten how much I loved it. So this is an instant perfecting mask. There is no lie here, no sarcasm. This really does perfect your skin. I use this every time I think I'm gonna do like a really nice makeup look or I wanna look good up close when I'm with people because it really does perfect your skin, sort of eliminates pores, very great product. Now this guy is recent for me. This is called Liquid Gold. It is from a company called Alpha H and I don't know how I was living without this, but this is something I use every other night almost as like a toner across my skin. It has a little bit of glycolic acid in it. It's really, really, really evened out my skin tone, cleared things up a little bit, minimized my pores. I mean, I still have human skin, so it's not like a doll or anything, but it definitely has helped. And then of course, being a dry skin gal that I am, I love, love, love oils and serums, but particularly oil. So I've been using this new Strivectin oil, Super B Barrier Strengthening Oil, and it has its own little dropper and everything. It smells absolutely amazing, and this has really, really helped my skin out quite a bit um, in terms of dryness, clearing things up, just giving it all the extra little ingredients that it needs to look good. I use it morning and night, and big game changer. I feel like this is gonna be a long video because there's a lot of products over here. But I just wanted to show you guys really what I've been loving the most out of all of my makeup products that I have and kind of what I've been delving into more than anything else. I have a whole system down, mixing foundations and concealers and powders and all that jazz. Okay, it's a good system. Okay, so right out the gate, primer. These two primers have been Really just my go-to's, the Laneige Glowy Makeup Serum. I don't even think that they make this anymore, but I used to love it, so I went back and grabbed it again. And I'll see if they can find it, and I'll link it down below, but if not, sorry. It's really good, though. And then the Elemis Pro Collagen Insta Smooth Primer. You might have to sell an organ on the black market to afford this, or you could use your Ulta points and get this, because it's at Ulta, and it's really, really, really good. Also, I went a little ham on the Anna Sui right before I stopped filming, but this is a primer that's like a gel base. I mean, I don't think that the camera is gonna be able to do this justice, but it's kinda like a putty. I don't know how, see that? Also, a very good foundation primer as well. Then I'm going right into 
RCMA. Now I've always liked RCMA products, but recently they came out with two new liquid products. Almost all their stuff was always a very high pigmented cream base. This is a high pigmented liquid base, but still pretty thick. Um, but I really do like the concealer. Um, it is coverage like you would not believe. And the smallest amount goes a long, long way. If you add too much of this concealer, it starts to look really, really cakey across the skin, but I have been using it just to sort of conceal all the dark circles in my eyes and things that I don't want, like hyperpigmentation and things that I kind of want to conceal a little bit more. Then I've been going into uh, my Lisa El Eldridge Elevated Glow. This stuff is balm, very glowy, gives your skin sort of a nice illumination, very thin product, but glass-like finish. So good. Now here's where my system comes into play. So I've been doing a lot of this lately. You know how I love to mix my foundations. Um, so I've been going in with the Laura Geller Ideal Fix Concealer, which I actually just use all across the skin because it's super, super lightweight and very like skin perfecting quality. So I use that. And then I've been going in a lot with this iconic London Radiance Booster. So it has, as you can see, a bit of tint inside of it. But really what this is, is a lot of, lot of, lot of glow. <laughs> so. I I really, really, really enjoy this product, especially on days where I don't want to use a ton of foundation, I just want to sort of even out my complexion. This is a fantastic product. My newest addition in my collection is actually this foundation from Lawless Beauty, and I have another shade on the way because I don't know if you can see like in this video, obviously that shade is really, really, really light for my skin um so i've ordered a darker one but also this stuff goes on super light and then it will dry down a darker color um they show all of that on their website so you can kind of see what it looks like light and then what it looks like dried down but this is super buildable the most extreme lightweight ever and the finish is outstanding on this um, at first I was like, this is not full coverage, but the more that you build this up, the more uh, it can have coverage. However, for me, I just like to almost use this as like a finisher um, because it sort of gives my skin like a satin, nice, overall even finish. It's almost like a filter. So I've been using this over the top of uh, the other foundations that I've placed on my skin. And now it's time to go in with my second Laura Geller product, which is the same thing as the first one, and that's the uh, Ideal Fix Concealer. So I wouldn't say I have like one concealer that I've been using a lot lately. I have just been dabbling in lots and lots of different concealers lately. So um, this is just the one I use today, but I don't have like a forever favorite right now, okay? But as you notice, I have been using my old Tati sponge, um, and I've really, really, really been enjoying this to apply nearly everything. I feel like it gives me like a really nice, smooth, even finish across the skin without looking too cakey. So then I'm going in with the Kojindo My Fanchi <laughs> Brightening Moisture Powder. This stuff is so stinking amazing. It really does brighten the under eye. You can see sort of how it has those lighter particles. Now the shade range on this is really definitely lacking, but um, if you like a moisturizing sort of under eye powder, this is the way to go. It doesn't leave it looking like super powdery if you have a dry under eye area. So I've been really liking this. Then I go in with the Itch Bye Bye Pores powder. This I just concentrate solely on this cheek area because I have like huge, gigantic, monstrous pores, as you guys know, right here on my cheeks. And so this literally, literally eliminates them, like completely. I stink and love this. I do not like this all over the face. This becomes like a chalky mess all over your face. But um, if you wanna concentrate it in certain areas to get rid of pores, this stuff is bomb. And I actually like it best with the little pad that they put inside of it and not with a brush. Then I go through with my tried and true Makeup Forever foundation powder. I love this one so much. It's one of my ultimate favorites. Again, using the Tati sponge really presses in the powder and evens everything out. At this point, you may be thinking, wow, Jessica, that's a lot of powder. And yes, it is a lot of powder. So I've been going in with my fresh vitamin nectar spray. This is really just a lot of antioxidants, vitamins, a little bit of glow, and then it sort of melts down all of that extra powder that may be sort of sitting on the surface. Um, right now I can get away with so much powder because where I live it's still 100 freaking degrees, so I'm a little bit sweaty. Powder is great. In winter time, I'm gonna pull that powder back. Not so much powder. 
Now this has been my new favorite combo of all time. Okay, so I am a huge contour wand fan from Charlotte Tilbury, one of the best products out there, hands down. Um, and I've had the light shade in the past, but I went ahead and got the medium deep shade, and I have been using the Bye Bye Pores brush. <laughs> I never use brushes for what they're for, like ever. This is supposed to be like a powder brush for pores and I feel like it works horribly for that. So I actually like this as a blending brush and I, as you can see, I blend this in and it just really, because of these light um, dual fiber ended brushes right here on the end, it just sort of diffuses the bronzer into my skin and makes it look a lot more like one with my skin and evens it out so it's not like a strip or a line. Very, very, very fun product to use. As a bronzer fanatic, I will say I still use other bronzers and I also use contour if I'm doing more makeup I will still use a lot of my other bronzing products as well but for the day-to-day -day and most of the time I really love the way that this has been looking across my skin so much eyeshadow to go through I really really don't even wear that much eyeshadow so I don't know why I have that much eyeshadow but um, right before I stopped filming I also got this new Sigma Cor de Rosa palette um, actually it's not new, but it's new to me, so I just really like the shades that were in this and then Sigma has really good quality stuff, so I have just been doing pretty fairly basic eye looks lately, nothing too crazy, pretty understated. But this has a lot of really great colors that I like. I do use other palettes as well. I, I've really gone back to using my old Tati Volume 1 palette. I love that thing. I just stink and love it. it. It never gives me a bad eye look. So that's a really great mention as well. These, oh, these are my new loves. So these literally just came out from M Cosmetics. And I have been using them a ton. It looks like you're wearing gloss across the top of your eye. Like super reflective, shiny, but it stays on. It looks better. I also think with a fingertip instead of a brush and these are just stunning across the eye. As you can see, it just, it just gives you like a lovely little gloss, a nice little shimmer. Very creamy, sits right on top of the eyelid, just perfect and does not come off. Okay, for eyebrows, I went with the new Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. I've got 8 million eyebrow products and nothing seems to help or nothing seems satisfactory at least to me. Um, I also have the new uh, Patrick Ta Major Brow Lamination Gel. This is actually really good for the first like hour and then it leaves kind of like a white cast which seems to be my problem with nearly everything. And with the Charlotte Tilbury though it actually does give you um, a little bit of tint which I happen to really like and it does have staying power. So so far this has been my favorite thing that I've been using for brows. We'll see what else is out there. As far as eyeliner goes, I either don't wear eyeliner or I usually use a shadow. But if I'm gonna do a little bit more makeup that day, I will go in with my tried and true Maybelline Master Precise All Day. This has the best point, best product, super great value, run to the drugstore and go get it. I'm still sort of dabbling around on mascaras. I really do like the Thrive Cosmetics one, but for this video, I wanted to show you a new mascara that I've been using a ton. I started out with the new uh, NARS Climax mascara, just as like a prep, and then I went in with the new Patrick Ta Major Volume mascara, and as you can see, the bristles are huge and fluffy, and it really does, from side to side, as you can see, have a massive difference between. It it really works so well. It pulls and lifts up my eyelashes because mine go like straight out and it lengthens them and makes them longer. So actually really, really, really good mascara. I've been liking this one a lot. All right, for my glossy, glowy looking highlight, which is one of my favorite things to do, I have been using Chanel Les Beiges Sheer Healthy Glow Highlighting Fluid in Sunkissed. Um, and as you can see, this thing just blends and sinks into your skin and just gives you like this lovely, glowy, more natural sort of a highlight instead of like that strip across the skin. Like this, this is my jam. Sometimes I actually use this under makeup as well. It looks amazing under foundation. They're just, this can do no wrong. It's an amazing, amazing product. Once I am ready to go in with blush, I've still been using a lot of my Hourglass Spanish blush. Um, this, this is just my favorite. I have the shade Revel. 
Um, one of the best products out there. I'm really not too picky on blush. I still like my new Jaclyn Hill blush. The Melt um, blushes are fantastic. Um, I'm not too picky on blush, but that one is just so easy and quick to use that I probably reach for that more than anything else. Finally, I'm going in with my Wayne Goss, as always, mauve pencil, best pencil out there. And then this has been my obsession lately, it's the Hourglass Ultra Slim High Intensity Lipstick. So what I love about it is this, it just feels so luxurious and cool whenever you're applying it and it's like this really thin, sleek, teeny tiny packaging. I just love it. It feels like super high end, very easy and precise because the pencil or the, the top part of the lipstick is so tiny, you can get it exactly where you want it to be. And what's cool about these is they're just removable. So you can take out one and then add in a new shade if you want it, just so you can still keep that really, really cool pencil. Last but not least, of course, I love myself a good lip oil. I have been trying a lot lately, um, but I have two particular favorites. One I can't find. I don't know where it is, but I need to go looking for it. But it is, I believe it's Bobbi Brown's new lip oils. Really, really great. Super moisturizing. It looks like satin across the lips. I will link that down below if I can find it because those are really great. And then also I've been using this Sigma Renew Lip Oil, which I really, really like as well. Just very hydrating, moisturizing, still gives you a nice looking gloss across the lips. Um, really, really great product to use as well. Everything I like is hydrating and then I just pile on the powder. <sighs> okay. I mean, that's hardly all of the products that I have been using. Um, that's 99% of them. So I hope that this has been a really good and informative, insightful video in which you could see what I have been doing with my makeup since I've been gone and new products that have come out that I actually think are worth your money. Subscribe if you wanna. Hit the notification bell if you wanna be reminded if I ever upload a new video. Give this video a like if you liked it. And uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks so much for sticking around and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.